Greetings everybody, I am Brian D0313 and today I'm coming to you with a DS recording and editing tutorial video. Now some people have asked me how I formatted my DS videos and that's the reason why I'm coming to you today with this tutorial video. First off I'd like to point out that I took the format idea from HC Bailey so all the credit should go to him of course. He is probably more knowledgeable at recording and editing but I'm just going to show you some basics that I came up with. First off you need to record the video. Now I have three methods to record the video. Each method has, has each of their individual pros and cons. The first method is uh, the HD Bailey method, which is uh, where you use uh, the AVI recorder, uh, the AVI recording software within the DS emulator. So we got the DS emulator right here. And this is one I use, the version, and X9086, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just boot up Shadow Dragon. Now what we do is you come up here and just hit record AVI. Let me do that again. So you hit record AVI, you save the file. Yeah, sure. And then it'll come up with this image video compression. I didn't really understand what this was, but I was a uh, successful in uh, actually recording the video. So we're just going to hit cancel on that. Okay, so we're just going to hit stop on that. Okay. So I find this to be the best way to record. The downside to this method is that it does not record live commentary. So in order to record live commentary, you need to have a voice recording program, or you could, or you could, well, you do need a voice recording program, or you could also do uh, post commentary. I do not like this method because I feel it's a hassle to sync the commentary up with a video. Also, post commentary doesn't convey the same emotion uh, for when something surprising happen happens to you during gameplay, like getting your party member killed. Now, if you don't mind using post commentary or this method in general, then use this method. <laughs> Sorry. The second recorded method is to use fraps, which is around here somewhere. There it is. There's fraps. <laughs> uh, 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 so yeah, to use Fraps, uh, which does record commentary, and it's an excellent program for recording videos. The only problem with Fraps is let me come back. The only problem with Fraps is that it is uh, it physically records the black borders that surround the screen. So we what you have to do is you press Alt Enter. You have to use, uh, set this into like full screen mode by doing that, and you can see the black borders. This is physically part of the video. Now, from my understanding, because of this format, there is no way to edit the uh, video the way that we want to, unless if you like do a double edit where you like just focus on the middle screen, render it, and then uh, go back again. But that might cause some problems. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing it. Now, if you uh, just want to display the two screens at, uh, throughout the entire video, or if you plan on just focusing on one screen, some games, uh, some DS games like the uh, remakes. They mainly just focus on one screen, and the other one has like a cutscene, like the Mega Man Zero series. Uh, then I recommend using this. Let's get out of there. The final re uh, recorded method that I use is uh, Camtasia, which I come to hate. It's my first recording software. It's come to be my last, except for. The <laughs> Now, Camtasia is a $300 screen recording program that causes your computer to occasionally crash. And you could get a uh, verification from the mighty Keystyle 25, or actually Thomas Style 25. Camtasia also doesn't do too well with with uh, recording PC games. Usually, there's a lot. Usually, lag, slow down. It's just it's just like a basic recording program. $300 really. Uh, thus, we use Fraps. Now I use Camtasia for what I want to do with edit, uh, editing DS videos, and we're using uh, the uh, Camtasia recorder right now to record the screen. But uh, here's the Camtasia recorder thing; it's rolling. If you can see it, it does give us a timer that we can look at. Uh, Camtasia will record live commentary. You could also separate commentary from system audio, but I don't. 
but I, I do not think that uh, Sony Vegas will be able to read the Camtasia file because when you do that, it saves it as a camera file instead of an AVI file. Uh, this is why we, we uh, record uh, game audio using the speakers and our microphone. So uh, game audio is picked up through the microphone. Careful planning must be done, otherwise game audio might be too loud or too soft in comparison to the commentary. So you might not be able to hear, hear the person talk, or you might not even hear any game audio at all. Camtasia also lets you manually adjust the area that you plan to record. So maybe I just want to record this box for it, or the top box, or I don't know. Let's just do that. Uh, so Camtasia has turned out to be my last option for recording. Now for editing. We are going to use Sony Vegas Pro, which was recommended by HD Bailey. And if you uh, want a more in-depth tutorial on, on using Sony Vegas Pro, then go ask him or look up tutorial videos. I am just here to give you the basics. Now before going into Sony Vegas, we need to duplicate the video file we just made. So I didn't really make a video file, but uh, I'm just going to go find it somewhere. And there it is. Temp, DS, and right now you can see we have uh, Fire Emblem Episode 6, that's a copy, and then we have the main version. And then I still have to do all these ones as well. So I made a copy of the video. Next we start a new project. So we're here, and uh, we must, uh, okay. yeah, next we start a new project, and, set, and uh, Set the settings accordingly. We then add the videos to the project. So let me see. So first, we're going to see properties. We're going to use the one that I pre-set up, and this is kind of based off H off of uh, HC Bailey's setup, how he did, how he had his setup, and uh, his uh, 2500 uh, episode promo thingy. Blah, blah, blah. Might be some differences because I'm using an older version. So as we go and open up. And let's add these two. Now, there might be some problems because my mouse loves to be a dick. Has been being a dick lately. Lately. Not late, lately. Okay, there we go. Now, with the copy, we want to move that uh, up to the video overlay. So, we're just going to take this and move it there. That's how I do it. After that, we need to uh, zoom and crop the videos accordingly. Now, I use the bottom video, which is going to be this one, uh, for the double screen to the right, and I use the top video for the big screen. Uh, let's see. So, first, we're going to go in. As you see, uh, there are no black borders surrounding the screen, so we should make this work. So, first off, we'll be, since this is going to be the bottom screen, we're going to expand it all the way over. You can also set the numbers up here, I believe. Yeah. Not to worry about that. Uh, make sure you have the uh, lock aspect ratio off. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to set this thing down here to hold. And it'll be red. Otherwise, it'll start moving when you uh, switch in between the two screens. Oh, oh, one last thing. We're just going to move. Uh, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And we're just going to move it over. Ah, look at that over here. Moving, and that's how we focus. Could leave a little bit of border if you want. There we go. That's perfect. So that's the bottom screen. Now, like we could do, I should have saved the numbers. Now we do the same exact thing for the bottom. This time we just focus on one. Uh, well actually, for the for the video overlay, but this time we just focus on one. And it stops being a dick. We just focus on one screen. As I said, I probably should have uh, copied the copied the dimensions down, but it's not too much of a hassle. Once you get your dimensions down, then you pretty much just use them for every video. And it did that bullshit again.
That looks good. Maybe a little bit more split. There we go. Now what I might do is I hey copy paste you right. Delete that. Copy that. Paste, paste, paste. There we go. Or I'll move this up here. And this is just a little bit of example of, of uh, why we use a hold. That looks about right. So we're going to go back to the beginning. Beginning, beginning, damn. Okay, so we play. Let me just mute this audio up. As you see, it's actually moving because we didn't set the hold. Uh, uh stop. Back to beginning. Now, for a game like uh, Shadow Dragon, as you can tell, uh, the screens do alternate very, very frequently. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So uh, we just uh, let me see. We don't cut this, cut this, cut that. And go back to the beginning. So we just press the uh, right arrow. Start moving along. Then once we find a spot where we want to focus on a different screen. To just black, and there we go. Hold that, and then we're just going to copy this one, and same thing, just keep on doing. I know that usually the, the intro cutscene takes a while, so just zoom out, zoom out, make it go faster. And then we paste down here. Paste. There we go. And then you just keep on doing that uh, until you reach the end of the video. Hopefully people won't have to do this for your videos, of course. Hopefully it it doesn't like swap in and forth too often. Finally, once everything is done and tested, we render the project and finally up and finally upload it. So we go to the project, render. Uh my Fire Emblem folder where my videos are already rendered. I set it save as Sony AVC. Template is internet 1, uh, 1280 by 720 at 330p. And this allows us to, uh, to upload HD videos. And then we save and then it does its, uh, its thing. Oh, we don't cancel that. So that's how we that is how we do that's how we record and edit DS videos. Now, as I said, this is just a basic. If you want to know more about Sony Vegas, then read a manual, look online, ask a friend, ask someone that's done this before. It's, eh, you know. So if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. I could probably answer some of them. Hmm. Oh well. Just want to show you this. So until next time, it's been Brian D0313 saying, see ya and have a good day.